this is not the first time I have tried writing a work. If you like it, please use your small hands to put it on the bookshelf and follow the author's footsteps to explore this world. Weishwangwen plus Shoudao plus single female lead plus no system plus white beard plus no licking of pig horns plus Ariel plus other unexpected plus hey hey I hope everyone will enjoy it, the author will read all the comments, and I also hope everyone can enjoy this book. Chapter 1 Lucky and Unlucky Person You are listening at NovelFull.audio Brain Storage Gue Pai Qigong, oh, first attempt at the first novel in life. If the content does not match at any time, all character relationships are fictional by the author, do not take it seriously. Jin Yang, your resignation procedures are fine now. Wishing you all the best. Looking at the resignation procedures completed in front of him, Jin Yang walked into the bustling city without looking back. I am, or rather, I used to be, a fresh graduate from university. After a year of work experience, I grew tired of the endless cycle of working from 9 to 5. Jin Yang decided to give myself a spontaneous trip. I once saw experts online saying that the accident rate for airplane flights is about 1 in 1.2 million, and the fatal accident rate is 1 in 11 million. At that time, I even told my mother that this probability is no different from winning the lottery. It wasn't until the last moment before I fell into a coma that a sentence came to my mind. I am really lucky. Jin Yang's mesmerized hu opened his eyes and slowly climbed up from the beach. Where am I? Jin Yang sat up from the beach with a puzzled expression and looked around. It was estimated that he had been washed up here by the waves. So, where is this place? Jin Yang is a contemporary college student who cannot distinguish between East, West, North, and South. I don't understand anything about discerning latitude by looking at stars or understanding the temperate Mediterranean climate of plants. Setting aside the distractions in my mind that I couldn't help at all, it seems that I can only rely on myself to find a way to save myself. What do you think of following Dai for three days and starving for nine meals while following Bei for delicious food and spicy food? I've seen it all, but I haven't remembered anything. What should I do? Jin Yang can only first look for nearby, lucky unlucky ones, like himself. It's always right to have more people and more mouths, but having more people makes things easier. The sun shifted from one side to the other, and after an unknown amount of time. Jin Yang desperately discovered that apart from himself, there was no wreckage of the plane found. What should we do? Surviving in the wilderness of rebirth. Am I Robinson? There's no other way, as Mr. Bay once said, the three key factors for survival in the wilderness are food, water, and a place to sleep. I can only rely on myself for everything. At first glance, there is not even a coconut tree, so I can only try my luck deep in the island. Watching the sunset set in the west, there was not much time left for the sun to move away from the sea like a big bed. Jin Yang checked himself and scraped some pitiful things, except for some berries and mushrooms that appear to be edible and can be reported to the king of hell for unknown varieties. There was nothing, Jin Yang sighed deeply. After taking a casual bite, I decided to leave the remaining fruit that I didn't know was a pear or something for myself tomorrow. The only fortunate thing is that a few large stones have built a relatively sturdy place to sleep. After a series of accidents and exhaustion, Jin Yang fell asleep with a feeling of unease and drowsiness. Under the eerie moonlight, the drowsy Jin Yang did not notice that the pear he had left had transformed into a purple-blue color and had grown a complex totem. Those who have seen the One Piece King should be able to resist jumping. Don't doubt it's just what you think. One night without a word, everything was silent. The next morning, Jin Yang, who had been awakened by mosquitoes, got up in a daze of sleep. Glancing casually at the breakfast I had prepared for myself yesterday. After looking at what was in front of me, I couldn't help but rub my eyes for fear of making a mistake. Lying grass is a plant. Didn't I accidentally get pushed here by the waves on the plane? If it's survival in the wilderness, may I ask how this so-called demon fruit came from, even if you think it's on your knees? 
it seems there are only two possibilities left. 1. The earth has mutated, this is not a devil's fruit. It may have been a mutated fruit produced by doing bad things in my childhood, but when I found it yesterday, it was still good. This is not earth, this is the world of the one piece that I know of myself. Okay. So the question arises again, should I eat or not eat this unknown fruit? Looking at the limited food left in front of me, I also looked at everything that could be collected on the island yesterday. Not to mention whether the fish in the sea can be caught to the point of wasting a lot of energy without any gain, it is the most likely scenario. After careful consideration, Jingyang decided to take a gamble and swallowed it. The entrance is a thick defense, and when I was still chasing the one piece, I remember that taking a bite would take effect. But between nausea and hunger, Jing Yang made a choice, and in the end, he said it was really not an ordinary unpleasant taste. How do I know what kind of demon fruit this is? Would it feel like I shouldn't have eaten other novels? Is this one of mine fake? Water escape, damn water repair spat out a mouthful of water, fire escape. Enough ka cry no a sentence, caught in a moment of loneliness, lay done, seven leagues, there isn't even a single bird, how is it different from other pigs' feet? I guess I have nothing to do with nature anymore. Jing Yang sighed deeply. As is well known, there are three major types of devil fruit in one piece. Natural, Superman, and Animal. If it is a natural system, it can be easily tried, otherwise it is absolutely impossible. The two most attractive options left are either the natural Superman shockwave fruit like the Whitebeard Newgate or the floating fruit of the Golden Lion. Either it's a fruit-based animal species like Teacher Kuaidwa and an ancient species. Amidufu, Avalokitesvara Bodhisattva, Jade Emperor, Queen Mother of the West, Jesus, God, Pillowa. Jingyang worshipped everything he could think of, hoping it wasn't just some abilities that Alibaba didn't have. The vitality of this book is already bleak, and it seems that the ability to be a waste can come to an end. The end of the entire drama. Sigh, hey. Shake the fruit for me. I dug inside, drifting fruit for me. Drifting, ah. Jingyang looked at the stone floating in front of him. Is lying grass a plant? Is it really floating? I swept the stone surrounding me. Is it true that I am the lucky one of the plain sons? Wait, Jingyang thought to himself, as everyone knows, even dogs don't eat roasted fruits. Anyone with a little bounty on the forehead of the new world can play ignition, but even teacher Edo can come with his mouth open. Even if you can't change your body, if it's a Superman-style floating fruit, you can still leave this deserted island and make a fortune in this world. No matter how you think, you can definitely make a profit without losing. So good. The question is, how do I transform? Anyway, no one here can see themselves throwing idiots, Jingyang decisively released himself. Biskesh Kami, old Shu, I jumped onto the stage and hugged a little bit. Hee <laughs> hee. Digia Ultraman transforms, well, I'm not just, I don't have K. I can fly, wait. I have a flying grass. Seeking everything, gratitude is endless. Chapter 2 Bird Fruit, Phantom Species, Kuanpeng Form You are listening at NovelFull.audio If someone could see the current state of Jinyang, besides, lying on the grass, the short-circuited brain would probably be unable to think of any other adjectives. And Jingyang's current appearance is probably similar to what is recorded in Zhuangzi's Xiaoyao Yu. There is a fish in the North Sea, named Kuan. Kuan is so big that it cannot fit in an iron pot. I'm sorry for the mistake. In the most common and understandable way, it is, big. Jingyang felt his body the size of a giant race and scanned the small island below him, now it's the size of a sesame seed, as if one finger can cover it. Without lifting the Kuanpeng form of Jingyang, the unrestrained laughter shook the world like a bell, is this the devil fruit ability? Sigh. The huge figure of Jingyang, who had tightened his wings, plunged down like a roller coaster. But he didn't know that not far away, 
a small oared sailboat echoed with laughter like it was responding to something, it seems that this man also felt something exciting. After the excitement gradually subsided, Jin Yang, who had calmed down, began to think about how to survive in this pirate world at an unknown time. College students who used to live in a peaceful and prosperous era were born to be less than a last resort, pirates are definitely not among their options, all Chinese people with correct values hold a grudge against the turbulent era of the past, although some things are not something that ordinary people can decide for themselves, but he didn't want to throw an extra handful of firewood into the fire. But the navy was not what Jin Yang's heart longed for, which made the difficult choice of Jin Yang very headache. No matter when and where, the so dot called food, clothing, housing, and transportation cannot be separated from Barry. Is it possible to become a pirate hunter named Roranoa Sauron who robs the rich to help the poor? Jin Yang, who had no clue for a moment, simply didn't think about it. If you can't make a choice, then don't choose. This world is not a peaceful and prosperous one under the protection of the red, but rather a pirate world where strength is paramount, as long as strength is strong enough, it's just a matter of not wanting to eat beef. Never mind, it's none of his business. I finally managed to travel through this kind of good thing and it's my turn, Jin Yang thought to himself. Happiness is the most important thing, leaving no regrets or difficulties. As for everything else, let's take a step by step and see what happens. As the old saying goes, when the boat reaches the bridge, it naturally straightens out. Jin Yang, who had made up his mind not to think recklessly, finally decided to shake around the island first, spread your wings to explore nearby islands or passing ships, and plan for the present. After a period of flight, it was frustrating that Jin Yang didn't even see a living person except for a few islands and reefs without any plants. Does it mean that all luck has been used up on this unknown demon fruit? Did I finally travel to this world so quickly that the entire drama was about to end? Jin Yang, whose mind was filled with mixed thoughts, decided to go back to the small island that was originally washed ashore before making other plans. Suddenly, with a loud roar, he stopped himself, hey! Little ghost! Jin Yang, who was originally flying in the sky, was attracted by this sound, in this desolate sea, who else can this voice call besides itself? Jin Yang looked down for a while before seeing a tall figure like a small giant standing on a small boat, take a closer look at the weapon in your hand, which looks like a sword, as he shouted towards Jin Yang, he waved his weapon in his hand. Finally met the first person to come to this world. Jin Yang said with great anticipation. After thinking about it, he curiously bent down and rushed over. It was not until he flew closer that Jin Yang could carefully observe the person who had come down. After observing two huge eyeballs for a while, the former is roughly the typical foreigner's golden and blue eyes, he had a black headscarf tied to his head, and the point was that there were no other weapons or pirate flags hanging on the ship except for the knife in his hand. With the behavior of a pirate in this world, as long as it is not Malin Fanduo, it is impossible for a pirate not to hang their own pirate flag. Jin Yang couldn't help but transform back into a human and landed on the small boat, after all, I didn't want to miss the first living person Jin Yang who I finally met. The man's age looks estimated to be around 30, as soon as Jin Yang landed on the deck, he warmly greeted and introduced himself. Gulalala, I'm Edward Newgate, what's your name? Whitebeard said as he extended a friendly hand to Jin Yang. My name is Jin Yang. I used to be a bodyguard on a merchant ship and drifted to a nearby island in a shipwreck. Jin Yang held on to the large hand that came over, and made up a bunch of nonsense to give by beard a rough idea of his situation. After a conversation between the two, Jin Yang learned through Newgate's mouth that it was now the year 1474 in the pirate world calendar, you may not understand, for example, it's not just a little bit close to the so dot called pig football going out to sea. Number 34, One Piece King, when Roger died, it was almost 1,500 years ago, and as for the top wars that caused a sensation around the world, it seems like they were around 1520. Thinking about these earth-shattering events almost 50 years later, it's not certain if he will survive until then. 
thinking about the distant Jingyang, Newgate slapped him back. Kid, did this shipwreck scare you crazy? Newgate joked. Jingyang did not refute, but waved his hand to indicate that he was unharmed, he never expected that he would be so lucky to meet the white beard of his youth after crossing over, plus the unnamed demon fruit I ate, after scanning the figure in front of me, what I was holding in my hand should be Tsong Yunkut, one of the twelve skills of the supreme fast sword, if the current white beard had already eaten the seismic fruit. He can no longer be said to have one at the starting line with other travelers, he ran several more laps than the others. Newgate was unaware that the person in front of him was filled with various fantasies about him and his own future, just as he is calming his emotions and not doing what he wants. After drinking a few cups of warm yellow soup, Newgate learned that Jingyang was already a lonely family, without hesitation, Newgate threw an olive branch onto Jingyang's boat. At present, the white beard is not a so dot called pirate, nor is it the strongest man in the world that Jingyang once knew, I don't know if this world has the so dot called historical correction power, can his little butterfly flapping its wings make a difference to the regrettable ending. After much thought, is it now uncertain that Whitebeard has joined the rock's pirates? Has he already eaten the fruit of the earthquake? Who would be so familiar with the world history of an anime? My dream is to build a big family, a close companion who may not have blood ties. Little ghost, I formally invite you. Are you willing to board my ship? Seeking everything, gratitude is endless. Chapter 3 The Man with Fatal Attraction to Men Whitebeard You are listening at NovelFull.audio You might think this is absurd and normal, but as long as I become the strongest man in the world, it's not just a dream, said Whitebeard with a fighting spirit. Looking at the white beard that was not as old as in previous anime, the current white beard is still in its prime, and even its strength has not reached its peak. For Jin Yang, who is still familiar and unfamiliar with this world, how could I refuse this? I couldn't refuse at all, but Jin Yang didn't directly agree at the first moment. I can become your crew member, but I must make an agreement with you about Newgate. If there really is a disagreement between us in the future, I will have my own persistence. Bai Beard looked at Jing Yang with a very serious expression and didn't look like he was joking. I promise you, my dear brother. I swear by my dreams that one day, Edward Newgate will never make things difficult for you. White Beard's sincere appearance does not seem to be fake, and as the White Beard I once knew in the anime, I would not deceive myself. Gulala I have a family now, Gulala from now on, you will be my first family in Jingyang. Later, Whitebeard happily pulled Jingyang and opened a banquet with only Jingyang in him. After finishing a meal of yellow soup and feeling slightly tipsy, Bai Beard asked. Brother, what is your dream? Bai Beard looked a little tipsy, seemingly oblivious but seemingly oblivious, observing Jingyang. My dream. I don't have a dream yet, if that's a dream. I want to protect what I want to protect, cherish what I care about. Find a place like a paradise and live a comfortable life that belongs to me. Ha ha ha, Jing Yang said. Gulalala it seems that I found the right crew member for the first time, White Beard chuckled heartily. Jing Yang smiled as he looked at his White Beard, who had a satisfied expression on his face and was frantically filling himself with wine, perhaps following this man would be the best choice for oneself compared to other options, and he also secretly swore in his heart that if he had the ability, it would be best to change the man who saved him. The moon is shining brightly, and the stars are shining brightly. Looking at the white beard lying on the chair with a dreamy face in front of me, I'm sure I can't carry it anymore. Jing Yang decided to find a fabric to cover it for him, with a white beard-like physique, there was no need to worry about getting sick or anything, and I silently walked to the bow of the ship to watch the stars and bright moon. The former Jing Yang was not alone, he was a child raised in a single parent family, Jing Yang used to complain every day, but his heart was always filled with longing for his mother, a mother who always carries a hint of disgust but devotes all her love to herself, in fact, she objected to the trip and wanted me to change my mood before going out to play and go home, to put it simply, it's been too long since I last saw her. 
She misses me and wants me to accompany her, Mom, I'm sorry, Mom. I should have listened to you, Mom. I regret it so much, Mom. You probably miss me a lot and I'm also worried about me, Mom. Mom, in this life, I may not be able to show filial piety to your elderly family anymore. Thank you for your hard work. Your elderly family has been pulling up my unfilial son with a lot of feces and urine. Mom, whenever I think of your confusion and breakdown when you see the news, I feel heartbroken. Mom, if you want to live well, I will also live well. If I really can't go back, my unfilial son Jingyang will ask me to take care of you in the next life. Mom, Jingyang kowtowed to you. I don't know if it's wine or tears drinking from a wine bowl in my hand. The tacit silence between heaven and earth, the gentle sea breeze like the warm hands of the past, touching my temples, Jing Yang, who was crying and tired, unconsciously leaned back against the mast and slowly fell asleep, the sea breeze wanted to caress it, but couldn't caress that line of tears. The night is silent, the waves are calm, and Newgate, who should have slept soundly, gazing at Jing Yang lying on the ground across from him, there was an indescribable admiration in his eyes. No matter when and where, filial piety is always worthy of praise. No matter how poor a filial person is, how far can they go? No matter how you used to be, we will be a family from now on. By beard placed Jingyang on the bed, tucked in the corner of his blanket, and looked at Jingyang sleeping soundly. For a moment, the face of the former younger brother seemed to appear before my eyes. Suddenly, with his eyes closed and the picture turned, Newgate seemed to have entered another time and space. Brother, where are we going today? Everyone is hungry and it's time to find something to eat. A voice caught Newgate's attention, isn't this figure with an axe that is half his head short the younger brother he has been thinking about day and night? Brother. Is it really you? Brother. Newgate opened his big hands and tightly hugged the person in front of him. Brother. Why are you crazy? Who else can I be? Edward Reno, who didn't know why, didn't push his brother away. Brother, what's wrong with you today? Are you sick? After Newgate let go, he waved his hand in front of his older brother. Fuck you, your brother, I'm fine. What's going crazy about being so good? Hurry up and have a few bites of food. The big guy is about to leave. Watching the familiar departing figure, Newgate just realized that he wanted to reach out and grab it, the next second, the blazing flames in the sky burned away the beauty of the picture. Reno. Reno. Newgate shouted anxiously. Brother. I'm sorry. Reno's voice came from his arms as he looked at his back engulfed in flames. Arnold. Arnold. What's wrong with you Arnold? Don't scare me. The remaining body in my arms symbolizes that life has already entered the countdown. Brother. You need to live well, take your brother's share. Live on. The figure in his arms completely disappeared, and Newgate felt like he was swallowed into endless darkness. Arnold. Newgate woke up completely. So it's all dreams. Looking around, he was wearing the blanket that the boy who had just boarded the boat had put on him. He stood up lightly and walked over to the boy. Like. Really like. Newgate looked at Jin Yang's face in a daze. Arnold. Did you come back? I want to protect what I want to protect, cherish what I care about. Brother. I want to protect what I want to protect and cherish everything I care about. Once, Reno's figure overlapped with Jin Yang, and the two were able to be so similar. The figure of the man is no longer facing Jin Yang, but turning his head to look at the boundless starry sky and ocean. Perhaps only the regular tapping of the mother of the sea can soothe this heart that has already gone through twists and turns. Seeking everything, gratitude is endless. Chapter 4 Natural Systems Animal Series Phantom Species. You are listening at novelfull.audio. No. Don't leave me behind.
The light blue on the horizon was like a layer of haze, and Jin Yang, awakened by nightmares, roared angrily. The power of the fruit inside the body is uncontrollably pouring out, and while still asleep, Hala's white beard, which had shed a tear on her chest, instantly opened her eyes in a stirring moment, the scene within reach of the gaze was extremely terrifying, the giant object, which is hundreds of meters in size, seems to be experiencing some kind of pain and roaring ferociously, the person who unleashes their own unconscious anger and killing intent, the wind and clouds change instantly. The waves surge into the sky, and the white beard's energy accumulates, causing the small boat to creak, cooperating with his own shaking fruit, he charged towards the fierce beast like a shell. Jing Yang. Wake up. Jing Yang. That's just a dream. Wake up. Flying to the top of Kuanpeng's head, White Beard shouted hoarsely, but such a fierce beast showed no signs of awakening, White Beard had no choice but to unleash a powerful shock wave that hit the nearby air, causing cracks like glass in the air. With the release of his white beard, a loud roar came from the sky, and Jingyang's subconscious regained consciousness. Newgate Jingyang was awakened by a nightmare and transformed into a huge kuenpeng, recovering into human form at a speed visible to the naked eye, white beard stepped on the lunar steps similar to those used by the navy and carried Jingyang back to the precarious small boat. After arriving at the next island, we need to find a way to change a boat. White Beard looked at Jing Yang lying on the side, picking up the wine jug, the morning is really a perfect time for sipping as time passed, the dazzling sunlight at noon pierced Jing Yang's unopened eyes like a needle. After waking up leisurely, the White Beard next to the viewer was not sure if it was a so dot called drink or a drink. Newgate, I'm sorry to trouble you again. Jing Yang said with embarrassment. You're not right, I am. Isn't it appropriate for us to take care of each other as family members? Whitebeard lightly lifted his seemingly heavy fist and struck Jingyang, warming his newly arrived heart. By the way, what fruit did you eat and just acquired the fruit ability so fiercely? Whitebeard looked at Jingyang with a gaze like that of a strange seed. I'm not sure about the specifics, but I can transform and control objects around me to float. Should it be one of the animal or mythical creatures? Jin Yang is also a brain with three question marks. Zhuge Liang didn't even know when he came, I have seen the devil's fruit illustrated, but I have never seen a fierce beast like you. White beard touched his non-dot-existent beard out of thin air. Can you describe what I look like when I transform? Looking at Bai Hu's previous move of accumulating energy and shaking in the air, it seems that Bai Hu's name has signs now. Whales, like those giant sea kings, by beard said while gesturing. Whale-like and sea king-like bodies, capable of flying, and able to control the suspected gravity or gravity around him, is it a mythological giant recorded in the classic of mountains and seas, the Kuanpeng. The more Jin Yang scrutinized it, the more certain he was of his own thoughts. Kuan, Kuanpeng. What is that thing? White beard, who was not sure why, felt lonely. Mmm, it's a flying whale, an ancient creature recorded in my hometown. I'm not sure what its specific abilities are, but if I try them out now, I can control things around me. Do you have any clue, Newgate? Jing Yang looked at Bai Hu with a hopeful expression. Is that so? Then I'm not quite sure about being able to control things around me, but I know someone has similar abilities. My beard shook his head helplessly. Who? Although Jing Yang already knew who it was, he pretended. I definitely have to go all the way. A stinky cat, I call him Shiki directly. White beard seems to be not very fond of the golden lion. Why don't you just try your abilities one by one said white beard. I tried on that island before, but I couldn't spray fire or produce water. Jin Yang replied helplessly. You're falling into a logical trap, Ai Yang. You can't create water and spray fire. You can try controlling water to control fire or something else. As you said, you're not a natural type. If you can give birth, then you're too abnormal, right? Bai Beard looked at Jin Yang with a silly expression on his face. 
Jin Yang didn't take it seriously and excitedly patted by Beard's shoulder. You're so smart. Newgate, yes. How could I not have thought of it? Jin Yang became excited. Don't worry, wait and see if there's a deserted island. Let's go down and try your abilities. Aiyang. The white beard was also excited by me. Seeking everything, gratitude is endless. Chapter 5 The Potential of Terror, Promising Future You are listening at NovelFull.audio After a mischievous meal, they finally had delicious Chinese food. However, for a while, Jin Yang squinted and could already see the shape of a small island in the sky. After some adjustments, Jin Yang and Bai Beard finally arrived at this medium-sized island, which was just enough for them to showcase. Let's start, Yang. White Beard rubbed his hands and was eager to try. Let me start with water first, Jin Yang said as he thought to squeeze the pre-prepared fresh water next to him into a ball shape. Lying grass, lying grass. It's really possible. Newgate. Jin Yang looked excitedly at Bai Beard. While Bai Beard was still thinking, Jin Yang thought to himself, what if it were seawater? In the world of the One Piece King, as is well known, except for the top.notch devil fruit ability, the other abilities are basically no different from the Sea Tower Stone. If I could manipulate the sea water, I would directly escape from the water prison. When the kitten saw one, it would be fast to say it was too late. Jin Yang directly raised his hand in the direction of the sea water, and while White Beard was thinking in confusion, he would directly create a water prison experience card. In an instant, the shock appeared on Whitebeard's expression. Newgate, one of them, stepped on the sound and escaped from the water prison, gasping for breath. Is this your ability? How did you do it? Whitebeard looked at me with confusion, excitement, and a hint of fear on his face. Success, lying on the grass, isn't this directly invincible? I'm just a walking sea tower stone. Which demon fruit ability person wouldn't yield three points when he sees it? Although Jin Yang felt the weak waves, the excitement brought by the strong strength still made him happy like a child. You've been overthinking it, Yang. It's a move that I can crack with just one quick step. With your current stamina, if you can unleash a second water dungeon, I'll lose. White Beard slapped me awake with a big mouth while still dreaming. It seems that one's own hard power is the truth of this world. Jin Yang sighed. Those who have seen One Piece know that a super strong fruit ability only determines the lower limit of your strength, and your physical fitness and stamina are the true upper limit of your strength. It is as strong as the Lonely Red Lead Field, who is comparable to the strength of a pirate group in this era. In the end, you will still fall under the fierce battle between Steel Bone Sky and Cap who is still a navy marshal in the original time and space. If bat fruit is eaten by Cap, thinking about it will make you shiver from behind. In terms of devil fruit's ability, I can't help you too much. It still depends on your imagination and effort. However, in terms of physique, I can talk to you about it, Gula Gula Gula, by beard slowly approached Jin Yang with a malicious expression on his face. Don't, don't worry, I know you're in a hurry, but don't worry for now. Let's test other abilities first. Our physique is growing day by day, Newgate. Jin Yang said as he retreated. Golala if you have nothing to do, you can try it first. After trying it, you can pass away. The training method I specially provided for you. Golala, white beard looked at Jin Yang with a smile. At present, all the abilities that we can associate with are nothing more than the abilities of wind, rain, thunder, water, fire, and earth, as well as the ability to know whether it is a floating fruit, a gravity fruit, or a gravity fruit. You can try each one, Bai Beard said, putting aside his joking expression and looking at Jin Yang seriously. Rain and water are just differences in form, so you don't need to worry about them. Thinking about it, when your strength reaches a certain level, you can directly create a large ball of seawater and use it as an artificial weapon to lower the seawater. 
This AoE attack is a powerful weapon in team warfare, and Jinyang's mouth is even more difficult to suppress than AKA's 4 or 7. Lei had no choice but to wait until he encountered thunderstorms or fruit abilities in the future. When the fire reached the point where it was on the ship, Bai Beard and Jinyang tried using the stove fire, but it didn't seem to have any effect. Fire and I were no longer destined. Now it's only wind and earth left, Jinyang murmured. After resting for a moment and regaining his strength, Jinyang thought directly. Golalala, Yang, do you think I'm too hot to fan me? You have it, but it's just a pinch, gesturing with your thumb as you say. You think the enemy's life is not comfortable enough, right? Golalala, White Beard covered his stomach and laughed, almost gasping for breath. White Beard. M9, Theta, High Temperature Jinyang. Isn't that just starting to try, Newgate? Jinyang looked at his white beard and veins, which were almost rolling on the ground with a smile. After Jinyang finished speaking, he didn't care about by whose ability to try soil related skills on his own. Thinking that he couldn't be ridiculed by Bai Beard for being weak and powerless like he did just now, Jinyang decided to use all his might and go straight to the top 3 or 20.1 moves. My goodness, White Beard looked at the signs in front of him. White Beard. Sigma, name, 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 the ground beneath my feet rises into the air, and wherever my gaze can reach, it gradually rises into the sky. By Beard looked at Jin Yang, who was even exerting force on his expression, and suddenly had nothing to say. He turned his head and jumped onto the small boat that was originally parked on the edge of the island, then turned around to look around. White Beard. Sigma, hi, uh, uh, uh. After Jin Yang lost his strength, the small island returned to the sea, and by Beard looked at Jin Yang lying on the island with his mouth almost cracking to the back of his head exclaimed. The last time I saw such a disaster-like scene was when the stinky cat got angry. At that time, the scene didn't even have half the effect. Whitebeard described to me his comparison and opinion of seeing the golden lion and the effect he had just made. Now he really thinks about the terrifying potential of animal species and phantom beasts. It's really chilling to think about it. The golden lion in the past only lifted up a village, but what Jinyang just did was uproot the entire island. The difference is easy to see, and in an instant, the distinction between high and low comes out. White Beard looked excitedly at Jinyang. Such a brilliant piece of jade is still an uncut piece of jade. If I had trained to be half as good as him, how despairing would it be for the enemies of Jinyang to encounter him in the future? After thinking about it, he looked at Jin Yang lying on the ground next to him and said. Yang, from now on, you must exercise and polish yourself well with me. Your potential is no longer something we can measure now. Remember not to waste your fruits or talents. If you are wrong in the future, it will be an error. By Beard sighed earnestly. When did such a monster appear in the East China Sea? In the world of pirates, why do everyone yearn for the fruit ability of the natural system? It is because the fruit abilities of the natural species are more likely to cause disasters at the level of natural disasters compared to the animal and superhuman species. On the other hand, if the fruit ability holder is a waste, even in the sparkling fruit, they can only be used as a flashlight. As the saying goes, there is no garbage ability, only garbage ability. If Jin Yang is realizing the colors of armed, visible, and even domineering, will there really be opponents in the future? Ha 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 ha, seeking everything, gratitude is endless. Chapter 6 Opening the clouds to see the sun, sitting and watching the clouds rise. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Humph, suddenly red, hum red, hum red, Jin Yang was running wildly around the small boat, following the exercise method described by Bai Beard. According to Whitebeard, it means running until you can't run, and practicing until you can't get up before stopping. These days, Jin Yang has been practicing like a dimly lit sky and a dimly lit earth. 
With a background of time and space, I am just a design student who has just graduated less than a year ago, let alone a sports student. Although I used to be a tall person who was almost 1.8 meters and 1.9 meters tall, playing basketball was not at all illusory. However, even if Jing Yang is a big shot, he is just an amateur and has not received systematic training. Perhaps in two lifetimes, I have not practiced to this limit in these few days. However, the world of pirates is still good. Even if it's tough and tiring, it can be cured with just one meal of wild eating and drinking. If it's not enough, then two meals will be full of vitality. If you don't see Luffy with a big chicken leg and a glass of milk, he will be thriving day after day. White beards uphold the fine tradition of military training instructors in the past. Those who practice tirelessly will practice to the death, while those who are reasonable are called training and those who are unreasonable are called honing. Until this afternoon, the dusk sun had already begun to greet the moon, and it was only halfway through Jingyang that White Beard interrupted with a smile on his face. Yang, today. Let me teach you a lesson that you must go through in life. Whitebeard pointed to a sailboat in the distance that couldn't be seen in size. Jin Yang, you have your persistence. Pirates are not part of your persistence, are they? Our next goal is to eliminate them. As he watched the approaching ship's mast, a traditional style pirate flag with a black background and white skull hung clearly. Jin Yang clenched his fist to himself. In the original time and space, it was just Jin Yang. Who had just graduated. From childhood to adulthood, he was mostly a flower in a greenhouse. The most he had not yet learned from the military was military training and Muay Thai classes. He only practiced a few times, so it's okay. Is it possible that he has encountered flowers in a greenhouse like the one who killed him desperately? As the distance got closer, the pirate ship across from them saw that the small boat with white beard didn't even have a flag and there were only two people on the deck. The pirates were even more excited. Little ones, it's open today. The two people across from each other are letting go and greeting each other, no need to leave anyone behind. The unknown captain across from the other shouted. Gulalala, Jing Yang, did you hear me? Gulalala they said we don't have to let go of each other. Whitebeard grinned. Jing Yang, who had been hesitant at first, heard that the goods on the other side were of this kind, and the last hint of worry also went with the wind. Newgate, let me come, let me see how much progress I've made in the past few days, Jin Yang turned around and said. Don't worry, go boldly. I'll stand by and watch your performance. After speaking, by beard leaned against the mast, holding the razor. While boosting himself, Jin Yang also provided psychological support until the two ships docked. Jin Yang charged up and jumped onto the opposite deck. Seeing only Jin Yang dared to jump over, he couldn't make up his mind for a moment. While the other side was still in a daze, he thought of using gravity to directly remove everyone's weapons. Originally, he wanted to bring a wave of handsome 10,000 swords back to his sect. After looking at a few broken swords, he immediately threw them into the sea. The originally stunned pirates rushed forward in an instant as soon as they saw their weapons being unloaded. Jin Yang charged forward and jumped forward with a straight punch, hitting the pirate at the head. The fruit of the animal type phantom beast, combined with the strength that had been consolidated in the past few days, cut off the pirate's head with one punch. Jin Yang looked at the bloody fist and lost his mind in an instant. The captain across from him pulled out a small knife that he didn't know where to hide and stabbed Jin Yang, who was stunned. At the critical moment, Jin Yang regained consciousness and used his arm to block the stabbing dagger. A huge force made the pirate captain lose his strength. Jin Yang saw the dagger stuck in his forearm, and the blood flowing from the wound directly stimulated my ferocity. Sexually, a pirate leaned against the chest of the pirate captain, and the pirate captain groaned. Seeing that his sunken chest had more air and less air, Jin Yang took advantage of the other pirates being lost in thought, with one knee on the left and one iron crutch on the right, without any hesitation at first. There were not many pirates on the other side, and Jin Yang, 
who looked at the huge and chaotic Jin Yang, knelt on the ground in fear, crying and begging for mercy. Just as Jin Yang thought he had already dealt with it and was about to turn back and brag to Bai Beard, suddenly a chill hit him, without hesitation. To dodge sideways, seeing the razor in White Beard's hand, he inserted it straight in. A pirate was making a surprise attack, and Jin Yang was sweating profusely from behind. If it weren't for White Beard, it would be hard to say who would have fallen to the ground now. Thinking of this, Jin Yang was also angry and left all the remaining pirates behind in a fit of anger. Gulalala Yang, you're doing pretty well. White Beard said with great interest. Dealing with these ordinary people and pirates with your current strength is not a big problem, the main problem is your mentality. Both sides are fighting for their lives, but you always want to keep one hand. This is not impossible. The problem is that no matter when and where you are in battle, it is on the battlefield, you cannot underestimate the enemy. Even if you surrender to the ground, it is not possible. Before your strength is insufficient to push everything horizontally, I hope you can have the attitude you deserve and not have too much female kindness. By Beard patiently said. I know now, Newgate. Don't worry, there won't be another time. Jin Yang, who has just crossed into the world of pirates, still can't fight fiercely like other crossing pig feet, without any hesitation. They are all lives, one by one. Even in the cold and indifferent world, each warm life is like a mouse being pinched to death by oneself, and it cannot be easily quelled. No matter what, Jin Yang's mentality is still an ordinary person in his heart. He can't cross the river like brainless Xuanwen, killing people in all directions, causing blood to flow into a river and the world to lose its color. Bai Beard looked at Jin Yang, who was silent beside him, without much comfort or anything else. He patted his shoulder and realized that this was still a hurdle to overcome. It was a hurdle that he had to overcome, and if he couldn't overcome it, he was not suitable for the path of becoming stronger. After searching and scraping with his white beard, a shockwave casually sank the pirate ship across from him into the sea. Looking back, Jin Yang had already recovered. After a mental struggle, Jin Yang also realized that in this world of pirates, it is no longer the peaceful era of red protection. Practicing martial arts skills can make one stronger. The true martial arts skills are all killing skills, and which killing skill is not laid out all the way through a sea of corpses and blood. Why do pirates hesitate because they originally intended to be put to death? Looking at the white beard scraped back, Jin Yang smiled relieved and stood up with firm steps. As long as he became stronger, stronger, and stronger, he would not have these troubles in the future. After all, elephants do not care about the lives of ants, and ants do not unknowingly bother elephants. This is the world of pirates that prioritizes strength. Seeking everything, gratitude is endless. Chapter 7 the place where dreams start. Rog Town. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Cap. A loud roar. Today, it is still a young-looking warring states period, beneficial, put down the fairy shell in your hand, that's the treasure version I found. Go and eat your donut. The warring states period saliva attacked Cap's face. Don't worry, it's you who makes the scallops delicious. I can eat the donuts in the future, Kapu said that the speed of holding in his hand was not too fast or too slow as the speed of chewing in his mouth, instead, it accelerates like a motor, eating faster and faster, the crane next to him was watching the two monkeys fighting together, covering their faces in an attempt to distance themselves from these two people. Suddenly, the three of them suddenly looked in the same direction, and two small mountain-like people walked over from the town entrance. Iang, this is Rog Town. Let's take a whole bite. We'll wait until the rest of us have enough to eat before we can provide supplies, by Beard turned to Jin Yang. Is this Rog Town, the place where most pirate dreams start, the man's hometown? It's also the final destination after being executed, Jin Yang thought to himself. If the end point of One Piece is Rafdru, then the town of Log is the starting point of One Piece. Jin Yang nodded at by Beard, and as his gaze shifted, 
he saw a familiar figure that's just Kapu, warring states, and Crane from their youth. The two of them looked at the other three without speaking, and vice versa. Newgate, long time no see. Are you going out to sea as a pirate, just finished the warring states period? The nearby Kapu and Crane instantly entered a state of alert. Seeing this situation, Jin Yang ignored the situation and instantly transformed into a bird-like form, opposing each other. It's okay, Ayang. I've had a lot of old dealings with him. Let me introduce you to the Warring States period, where he ate the fruit of Renren, Ren, the animal species, and the form of a great Buddha. Next to him is Kapu, and I haven't seen the other lady before, so I don't know. Then by beard turned to look at the Warring States period and joked. You didn't feel good about being beaten up by me, did you come looking for me to beat you up again? Pirates and the like are so boring, they have nothing to do with me. Next to you is my brother Jinyang, whom I met with a friend in the East China Sea. White Beard pinched his empty beard again. You fart, why did your beard get pulled out? You don't have any points, do you? It's good that Newgate hasn't become a pirate yet. Hello the young man next to me. I'm from the Warring States period in the South China Sea and now a captain of the Navy headquarters. Nice to meet you. The Warring States period walked over confidently and reached out his hand. Jin Yang looked at Bai Hu and after his eyes signaled that there was no problem, he reached out and grabbed the hand of the Warring States period. Hello, captain of the Warring States period, please advise us on our first meeting. Jin Yang didn't have much emotion as he looked at the young warring states period in front of him. Instead, his gaze turned to Kapu standing beside him. Yo, hello, little brother. Nice to meet you. What fruit ability did you have just now? It looks very lively. When do we have time to spar? Kapu enthusiastically patted Jin Yang's shoulder. Mr. Kapu, who will have a chance? Jin Yang is not crazy, but he doesn't have a strange habit of seeking beating. Just now, with my own cat like Kung Fu skills, I still want to compete with such a young cap. Isn't that purely seeking to beat him up? Hello, lady. I'm Jin Yang from Dong Hai. I used to be a caravan guard. Nice to meet you. Jin Yang exhibits a very gentlemanly demeanor. Crane. He didn't even hold his hand and looked coldly at Jin Yang. It has to be said that when he was young, he was really cold and aloof. I'm afraid of being too talkative, welcome to Logue Town, I won't disturb you for dinner for now. If we have the chance to have a meal together in the future. Looking at the awkward atmosphere during the Warring States period, he took the initiative to break through the awkwardness and took a step forward with Kapu and Crane. He didn't forget to turn back and mock Whitebeard. Warring States period. Whitebeard ignored it and walked in another direction with Jin Yang. Looking at the current Luaga town, there is no well. Known Xingtai yet. Jin Yang couldn't help but think of more than a decade later, seeing the scene of Roger being executed firsthand, shaking his head to dispel his thoughts, and turning his head to look at Whitebeard. Newgate is what the Warring States period said true. He really pulled out your beard. Jin Yang looked at White Beard with a wicked expression on his face. Fart, that's his nonsense. Don't listen to him talk nonsense. I just feel like I'm still young and there's no need to grow a beard. Looking at Bai Beard's hard and proud expression, Jin Yang suddenly realized. In the past life, psychologists on the internet said that human nature is that the more ordinary people have nothing, the more they care about it. Some C fans even joke that the white beard is fake. When I was young, I didn't know what I had experienced and lost my beard. Now that Jin Yang has traveled here, I personally prove that I have indeed experienced something, ha ha ha. Stinky kid, are you itching and looking for a beating? You're laughing nonsense, and if you're laughing, I'll kick you into the sea to swim and let you know why the seawater is so cool. By Beard angrily said. White Beard. Private, okay, okay, I was wrong. Don't, don't, I was really wrong. 
Jing Yang quickly waved his hand and made a surrender gesture. Eating Logue Town doesn't have many unique foods. The previously coveted Luffy had the same big chicken legs, paired with mashed potatoes with gravy and some unknown fruits and melons. Let Jing Yang, who used to love eating fruits, start to reminisce about the past and think about various delicious foods. As a Northeasterner, pickled Chinese cabbage and white meat, sour and sweet cold noodles, spicy dishes, cumin kebabs, etc. I can't think anymore, my saliva is almost flowing all over the floor. But it couldn't stop these images from appearing, the more I thought about the food in my hand, the less flavorful it became. Dealing with a casual bite of Jingyang really can't bear the torment of appetite, pulling white beard to supply, he probably continued to sail with white beard. Watching the increasingly small town of Lo gradually disappear from the skyline, Jin Yang asked by Beard to send a small shock wave directly into the deep sea. White Beard was originally wondering what this stinky guy wanted to do, but Jin Yang said he would clean up the hard dishes and drink for him at night, making it impossible for White Beard to refuse. Jin Yang looked at the fresh sea fish picked up from the sea and stabbed himself in a plate. Another ripe drunkenness should be White Beard's favorite, and then make a pot of hot and steaming fish soup, taking a sip the cold sea breeze seemed much gentler with a hint of coolness. Slightly handle the fish to remove scales, gills, rifling, internal organs, bones, heads, and finally skin, simply change the knife to serve the dishes, while fish soup involves putting in the wasted fish heads from making sashimi and starting to boil them, it's easy to get drunk when you're ripe. After brushing and washing the lobsters that come up, put spices and seasoning into the pot, and then secretly pour in the unknown wine stolen from the white beard room. Once the pot is covered, it is ready to be eaten at night. The night breeze is calm, and the waves seem to have reached an extremely quiet sea. After taking a nap until night, my white beard was awakened by the delicious taste of food, then he stumbled out of the room and saw Jin Yang move the table onto the deck and place a plate of meat that he couldn't understand, lobster with a strong aroma of wine, and fish soup that can warm the spleen and lungs without even smelling it, the white bearded swallow swallowed its saliva, and the caretaker walked towards the busy Jin Yang with both hands. Seeking everything, gratitude is endless. Chapter 8 Opening a New World of White Beard with Food you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Jin Yang looked at the drowsy white beard, put down the garbage that had already been disposed of, and sat opposite him. Come on, Newgate, come and try my craft. This is also my first time making it, let's see if it suits your taste. What about this dish? It's sea fish sashimi, just dip it in soy sauce and mustard, and eat it directly like this. Hmm. It's really delicious. Jin Yang sighed. Seeing the scene of Jin Yang indulging in food, by beard picked up his chopsticks and began to eat with a thud. This fish soup goes without saying, and there's also this dish. In my hometown, it's called cooked drunken lobster, as the name suggests, it's your favorite dish. Come here and pair it with your favorite sake, it's not worth it in the world Jin Yang introduced while eating. Gula la la. I didn't expect Yang's craftsmanship to be so good. What kind of cooked drunken lobster is really to my taste, hmm? It's so refreshing. Paired with a sip of sake, my mom. By beard grabbed the lobster with one hand and picked up his huge wine jug with the other, as if all the delicacies of a Buddhist family were in front of him, eating with stars shining in his eyes. Come on, come on, don't just eat lobster. Try this fish soup that I've been stewing all afternoon. Unfortunately, there's no tofu sold in Loge Town, otherwise it would be a perfect match. Jin Yang shook a bowl of fish soup for himself and by beard alone, took a bite, and his whole body was warm. After a sweep, he looked at the plate in front of him as if he had never used it before, the white bearded Mimi, who was comfortable with his eyes, drank little by little the wine he didn't know where it came from. Wow it's really amazing. Ayang, what kind of cook are we looking for with your skills? It seems like we don't even need to find a boatman anymore. When your abnormal ability awakens, we don't even need to wander on the sea. 
Bai Beard looked at Jin Yang with satisfaction on his face. That's not possible. I don't want to cook every day. When I'm in a good mood, I'll be cooking. I also need to exercise. I think about what to eat in the morning, afternoon, and evening, and what to exercise for every day. I'll just open a sea restaurant, Jin Yang shook his head and said. Huh, but your cooking skills are really good Omega, boil more when White Beard thought about the cooked and drunk lobster and sashimi he had just had dinner, he also thought about what he had eaten before. What kind of shabby and tattered things were they? Is a piece of bread and a lump of mashed potatoes human food? Oh my! You can rest assured. There's nothing delicious without you. Bai Beard finally felt completely relieved when he heard Jin Yang say this. After a while of tidying up, the two of them lay side by side on the deck, the night unparalleled, the stars shining brightly, and the beautiful scene engraved in their minds. Newgate, let's call it the White Beard Adventure Group in the future. What's the relationship between pirates and the two of us? Jin Yang revealed his inner thoughts to White Beard. The White Beard Adventure Team. Gulalala, I've already thought of a name. Ayang, that's a great idea. In the future, we'll rob pirates. Anyway, they also rob innocent people. The main focus is on robbing the rich first, and then when conditions permit, we'll think about helping the poor. By whose he thought of his vision for a better future. Jin Yang looked at the white beard with a look of longing for the future. Can he say that this world does not have the so dot called correction power? However, this is also good. The subtle changes that I once liked about the character's future really make me look forward to the little things in the world of One Piece in the future. One night without words, wind and rain silent. The early worm is eaten by the bird the late bird is eaten by the worm, the hummer's strange sentence caused Jin Yang to wake up early and start a new day of training. After so many days of exercise, simple running can no longer cause any trouble for Jin Yang. Therefore, Jin Yang came up with a good way to torture himself, which is to control the seawater to absorb on his hands and feet while exercising. It must be said that the effect is amazing, from the beginning, Jin Yang, who had just come into contact with the seawater, was as weak and powerless as a hero dog's full level W. Until almost noon, while Jin Yang was able to let the seawater adhere to him, he began to jog. The onlookers tried hard not to catch Jin Yang, and by beard decided to start feeding him after lunch. After casually taking a bite out of lunch, by beard pulled Jin Yang to the open space on the deck. This afternoon, let's practice against each other. You just need to enter the form of a birdman, and I'll feed you some moves. As he spoke, by beard threw his weapon aside and rushed over with his fist waving, relying solely on his physique. Newgate, let's talk about not using weapons or tricolor dominance for now. Jin Yang said as he looked at the white beard charging straight towards him. Yo ho, Ayang, you still know about the three colors domineering aura. It seems you have something to do. Don't worry if it's okay. You're still in the beginner's village, and I never bully the weak. White Beard punched me straight. At first, Jin Yang could still fight back and forth with White Beard in one move, but the hitters and hitters were getting worse and worse, and even began to fight each other face dot to dot face. It was easy to see that Jin Yang, who was still in the novice village, couldn't even maintain his bird like form after being beaten by White Beard. Although Jin Yang had repeatedly begged for mercy, there was no sign of the two fists of white beard dancing and generating wind stopping. Jin Yang, who was already exhausted, had no other choice, but he had no choice but to keep hiding. Suddenly, a black fist bearer made him feel cold, while Jin Yang suddenly woke up and went straight to the next dagger, glutinous rice rolls with sweet bean flour, as if he could feel it, scolding. Newgate, if you don't talk about martial arts, how can you carry out a surprise attack? Didn't you agree not to use armed colors to be domineering? Jin Yang also ignored his ugly appearance and lay on the ground, panting heavily without any burden. Ayang, do you remember the feeling you just avoided that punch? Nonsense. That's how to get started with seeing, hearing, and seeing colors. 
See one. See one say what? What are you saying? Is this how I got started with seeing one say? So easy. Jing Yang murmured. Easy fart, you don't even look at who you are training with. Compared to the physical requirements of armed colors, seeing and hearing colors can only gradually understand between life and death. Some people may not have the opportunity to understand them in their lifetime, and the domineering color is basically not in the world. It is no longer within the scope of ordinary people. Without steel-like willpower and strong beliefs, there will be no qualification to become a king. And you, my brother, you have great potential. You are the most talented person I have ever seen, besides Kapu and that stinky cat in the Warring States period. Don't be too skeptical of your talents by beard looked at Jinyang and said. So when the body reaches a certain breakthrough, armed colors naturally become natural, and seeing and hearing colors go through life and death more will make one more refined. Dominant colors are human beliefs, right? Jin Yang combined his understanding of the previous anime with the conclusion just made by Bai Beard. In summary, if you want to become the first two now, it's very easy. Let me practice with you every day, and you will naturally improve, Gulalala, White Beard looked at me with a bright smile. I reasonably suspect that you're just trying to beat me up, be careful not to cook or eat Newgate for you in the future. Seeking everything, gratitude is endless. Chapter 9 Armed Colors and Seeing and Hearing Colors You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The Human Forbidden Zone, also known as the Windless Zone, has been without wind for years. Due to the year.round lack of wind and the presence of countless sea kings nearby, it is frightening to see that only the special fleets of the world government and navy can navigate normally. But at this moment, the wind and clouds were surging here, and the sea was surging. If a ship looked from a distance at this moment, it would see two giant-like figures fighting fiercely, causing the fist wind to stir up the nearby wind and clouds. After several months of training, Jingyang is now a different place from before. While maintaining its bird-like form, it can now fight back and forth with a normal white beard. Now, it has returned to its original state of being beaten, but White Beard must use armed colors to break Jingyang's defenses. Two people lay on the deck, gazing at the cloudless sky blue. Half a month ago, White Beard also joined the exercise program. Now, Jingyang can use purified seawater like a sandbag for weight. Bearing training, directly hanging it on White Beard and Jingyang. White Beard's original laziness was only because he felt that there was nothing to improve his strength at the moment but seeing Jingyang's novel exercise method, how could he be considered the world's strongest person in the future be lazy? Now Jingyang and Bai Beard can fight freely under the purified seawater covering their hands and feet. Jingyang looked at the armed colors that could be freely released, and currently there was still a slight gray-black color. It would take some time for him to exercise his image and become as purple-black as Kapu and Zifa in the future, and the black would appear translucent. But Jingyang's sight, smell, and color are somewhat special. It's not like Roger listening to the sounds of all things, nor is it like Katakuli predicting the future, but more like a combination of Roger and Enelu. Because of his fruit ability, he can communicate with animals, perceive the surrounding range of things through sight, smell, and color. How to describe it? Now, Jingyang can have a back and forth fight with White Beard even when he closes his eyes and Ting Hu can only feel people's habits when he smiles. As for me, it's like opening the sky, and fighting is no longer just about looking and listening with his eyes. Jing Yang, who is difficult to deal with, is even beginning to have a slight suppression when facing White Beard. However, that is also based on the premise that White Beard did not use his fruit ability. Counting the days, it should be close to the Shambhadri Islands. Jingyang and Whitebeard haven't disembarked for supplies for a long time, either exercising or cooking to enjoy life. Recently, they have also been lucky for those pirates and haven't encountered any cubs hanging pirate flags. Jingyang and Whitebeard are itching to go on adventures and voyages, after all, it's impossible for them to generate electricity with love like pig feet. And those pirates, 
hihi, can also be considered as one of the methods of supply. Newgate, do we have a way to get the Sea Tower Stone? Jinyang looked ahead and asked by beard. Is there a way? What do you want Hai Lu Shi to do? Bai Hu asked in confusion. I can already feel that the constraints of the sea on me are almost non-existent, and what can only allow me to continue to improve is the sea tower stone or the purification of more sea tower stone handcuffs, Jin Yang murmured. That's a good idea, but if we want to get the high Lu Shi, we can only try our luck at the shampoo ground, otherwise we'll have to find a way to the new world, said Bai Hu. Is it a new world? Our adventure, meeting like dot-minded partners, it's really exciting. Jing Yang's mouth slightly raised. Newgate, is there any pork on the boat? Today I show you something. Braised pork belly in brown sauce, don't put braised pork, let's eat. At the same time, above the holy land, the five old stars gathered in the conference room to discuss something. The world situation has begun to deviate from balance, and that damn D has started gathering pirates to accumulate his own power, said Jagalusia Satan Saint. That's the five old stars with a black flat hat, a beard, and a strange head shape like European judges, pirates are already on the rise, and we have to guard against them. The navy strength is currently not enough to suppress them. Should we expand our army, said Izamblin V. Nasoro Saint. That's the five old stars who wielded the first generation demon sword Ghost Che. The main reason is that the Dam D wants to directly overthrow the government, which is the most dangerous. If he gathers enough combat power, it can threaten the safety of the Tianlong people's lives, said Topman Watchley Saint. That's the five old stars of the Mediterranean, with a big eight character beard. It seems that naval expansion is inevitable and must be suppressed before pirates can shake the world situation. Now we are voting on whether to agree to allocate funds for naval expansion. Supplementary Proposal Asterisk 5 at the same time, on the naval side, on the ships of Marinfando. Kapu, are you going? Warring states looked at Kapu as he was preparing to move towards another warship. Me. I plan to go back to the East China Sea for patrols. Now the East China Sea is no longer calm. I heard there was a pirate named Roger who caused a considerable sensation. Cap pretended to pat the shoulder of the Warring States period and took a month to catch all the Xin Bay behind the Warring States period. What about you? The Warring States period. Cap ate Xin Bay with a happy expression on his face. Kapu. That's the treasure version I've been searching for for a long time. It's the one I plan to bring back to the South China Sea. Please give it back to me. Warring states. Hey Nai Gao Ji, oh my. Don't be so stingy. I bought things like Xian Bei just to eat. Cap said as his hand speed did not decrease at all. You meow, leave some for me, that's what I bought. Warring states couldn't bear it and jumped over to fight with Cap. Warring states period, if you have the ability, don't use your fruit ability. We real men fight one dot on point one for three hundred rounds. I'll go to your one dot on point one, you return my fairy shell first. He looked at the two headache inducing treasures and looked at the dragon next to him, which was Kapu's son and now a soldier. In the future, don't be like your father and uncle who lack the root scripture. Study hard, have you heard? He looked at the dragon beside him with a worried expression. Okay, sister he, I won't be like a stupid dad or a foolish uncle, Long said as he looked at the two of them fighting. In an instant, the two of them twisted and suddenly looked at the silly dragon, with their six eyes fixed on it, as if they were smiling. Bunny, it seems like you haven't received the iron fist of fatherly love for a long time, have you? Cap clenched his fist. You come to Kapu first, stinky kid disrespects the teacher, right? At least I can be considered half of your teacher. Warring states rubbed his arm. The dragon turned around and wanted to hide behind the crane, seeking help, but only saw a pair of eyes and handed her an helpless look. Ah, stinky old man, where are you fighting? Teacher, why don't you respect me? 
how could a monkey steal a peach? Oh, my goodness. Oh my, I was wrong, I was really wrong, dragon. Seeking everything, gratitude is endless. Chapter 10 Signs of Sin You are listening at NovelFull.audio The wind is just right, and the sails are full as they slowly move forward on the sea. Whitebeard and Jingyang, who were eating, were suddenly disturbed by pirates in the distant sea scenery. It's been a few days now, I haven't encountered anyone. It's so easy to have a meal that you cooked. These cubs didn't come at the right time. I'm thundering, Whitebeard said indignantly. Nowadays, Whitebeard pays great attention to the food cooked in Jingyang, in Whitebeard's words, food should be treated this way, taste slowly at the most appropriate temperature, like drinking fine wine. Jingyang, who exercises every day, cannot cook every day and often take a bite of fast food such as potatoes, bread, jam, and ham, Whitebeard hopes for the stars and the moon, it's easy to come to this beautiful Chinese food, now suddenly a group of despicable pirates have arrived, if Whitebeard didn't want to search for something stolen by pirates, he would have wanted to sink them directly into the sea with a shockwave. Ha ha ha, Newgate, don't worry about anything. I've been doing this meal for a while. Let's prepare it for them first and treat it as a shampoo gift for our meeting. Ha ha ha. Jingyang gazed at the slightly dark armor covering his body, rubbing his fists and palms. Gulalalala I'm really energized by what you're saying. I've received the start.up funds for our Ziangbidi auction. Whitebeard disregarded a shock wave and quickly flew towards the distant pirate ship. Hey. Newgate, please wait for me slowly. You've knocked over all the food I've made. Wait for me, Newgate, Jingyang said angrily. Halfway through, Whitebeard pretended not to hear what Jingyang had said, but silently shrank his head. Jingyang didn't hesitate at all, but when he turned around, he transformed into a Kuenpeng form and followed the figure with a white beard. Hello, the gift from Shampoo Land, Gulalala, can only be considered unlucky for you to meet the two of us brothers, White Beard said with a bold smile. Tell them what, dying man, Newgate. Don't think you can't pretend to hear it and it's okay. Go back and tidy up, otherwise I won't cook the next meal. Jin Yang glared at his white beard. Gula, abruptly stopped, cough. Cough. Can't you resist seeing these berries' excitement? Don't worry, I'll go back and tidy them up. I still need to cook some rice. I need to cook some. Whitebeard murmured. Introduction. Prohibition of martial arts. Jingyang waved his hand and directly removed all visible weapons on the opposite side. The unknown pirate captain across from him appeared to be both capable, and as soon as they met, he unloaded all his weapons from his subordinates and had to grit his head and charge forward. Good day, Kuenpeng. Burial. You're dead. Jingyang, who switched directly to a bird-like state, saw an armed figure thrust towards the oncoming pirate captain. The collision between the two was not surprising as the captain of the unknown branch of the dog fruit, he is not a match for Jingyang who has undergone training in the white beard hell, joking, being beaten by the future four emperors every day, the strongest man in the world in the future isn't it possible to compare daily sparring, the chest on the opposite side is sunken, although still alive. It still has less intake and more outflow, the physical bonus and health of animal fruits are still very impressive, otherwise, there wouldn't be so many pirates jumping out to sea in the era of the great pirates. Although animal fruits are their confidence, facing me in Whitebeard, still confident, with a big mouth pressing down on the ground to give you confidence, you can go home and eat milk, dare to go out to sea and plunder civilians everywhere. How about this Newgate? Are these people still here? Jin Yang looked at the white beard who had just walked out of the cabin. No one left. White beard remained calm and didn't know what he saw. Jin Yang didn't even think of taking a moment to lean into the cabin, but silently walked out. Kuenpeng, buried in the sea. The sea is towering. Jin Yang's face was gloomy, a charged sea seemed to suddenly have life, 
like a mad dog wave sweeping away the pirates on board. After searching for a while, Jin Yang leaned back into the cabin, looking at a few women in tattered clothes, as well as a few slaves who were snatched and probably prepared to be sold as goods. You are free now. You can disembark on your own when you arrive at Shampoo later. We have already dealt with those pirates, Jin Yang said. Benefactor, we have no home. Can you take us in? We sisters can do all kinds of chores. Just give us something to eat. Please take us in. One of the women who were tied to their necks by chains, who could be considered the head, knelt beside Jin Yang's legs and said. I can't decide, but I can help you ask, Jin Yang said as he was about to turn back. Get on my boat and become my family. My white beard will bless you, don't be afraid, don't be confused. From now on, we will be your family, said Bai Hu with a strong voice. As for those who want to go home, we will send you to the shampoo ground, and then it will be up to you. After that, Bai Huzi jumped back onto the boat without looking back. You heard me, sisters, stop crying. You should feel fortunate. Standing in front of you in the future will be the two strongest men in the world, Jin Yang said proudly. Thank you very much. My benefactor is Rachel Navessa. These four sisters and I are from the East China Sea. Our former village has been slaughtered by sea bandits, and we have no home. In the future, we will be cattle and horses, and thank you for your kindness, said the head sister. We don't need you to act like cows or horses and you don't need to be constrained to do anything you want. We're not pirates, and if we stay, we'll all be family members, Jin Yang comforted. Benefactor, she is Rina, Rita, Ryan and Rhea sisters. We were all recruited by the pirates for those big people. We haven't lost our virginity, please don't abandon us. Looking at these sisters, they were sobbing. Perhaps they don't need so dot called comfort, they just want a stable home. These sisters are the epitome of the great pirate era, Roger's childish idea never thought about his remarks, how much harm has been inflicted on these ordinary people, thinking of the dark and hopeless era before, the despairing and suffocating warlord chaos, the eight-nation alliance, if it weren't for the advance and succession of the martyrs, there wouldn't have been the later red peace, thinking of this. There was a voice in Jin Yang's heart that became more and more obvious, and the Seemingly invincible dominance seemed to be awakening, Jin Yang, may not have the greatness of a martyr, but with his strength and that of a white beard, it should be no problem to establish a country where food and clothing are at ease and not disturbed by pirates, when the fruit's ability awakens and protects one side, it's not just verbal, I hope to enhance my strength as much as possible in the era before the storm arrives. If an empty island can be forcibly lifted, then everything will not be just a dream. Sisters, don't panic, don't be afraid. In the future, Newgate and I will be your strongest supporters. Seeking everything, gratitude is endless.